Okay. Where you producing Music, music is not about going a hit, where a singer, and No, music is about Okola Rimba Nisigala to my room to forever. Why in it is the book, as all Gamba can only buy a radio. Okay, I mean, radio is with me in the spirit. You know, is with me in the spirit every day. Nekusa was in Oliwando because you're talking about him, which means his spirit is still here. He's among you, he's in your brains all the time. All of you are thinking about him. So, China Jagin, Zijali, just we can't see him by the face, but he's with us. You know, so there's no way he has gone. Industry, they talk about your vow, Montunula, younger way. Producer, Nachinko, Okova radio, your vow, industry, music, industry, and music, Um, I'm not going to comment on that because between uh, different kinds of styles that have come up, that, that were there before, but now people appreciate them. To all this style in Piambu, while you're still in Piambu, I know. From way back, we had GNL doing his, his rap. Today, I can see everybody is trying to sing like him. You know, we had people like Rocky Giant. It's so unfortunate a person like Rocky Giant is not seen anymore as important. But he's a very important person in this industry, especially for the industry today. Those were the pioneers who started that kind of rap. You know, but they were not given the platform that today an artist like Fig Farmaker is given. You understand? But that is because of the kind of industry they were in. They were not prepared for the future. You understand? So I hope this industry right now is prepared because I can see many come and go, which was not the case. As in child, you and me will be there for life because it's what I created with some other brothers of mine. But the young artists who are coming should not do also the same mistakes the old artists did. You understand? They should be totally different. You get it? This even goes out to the same thing to the producers. Like, don't just produce for everyone because you want to show off. This is not about showing off. Okay, this is about making history. This is about creating a legacy that our children can study about us, can read about us in books. They can teach about us in the universities of music. You understand? So the generation right now needs to learn the mistakes of the the, 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 the the other artists that were there before and that some are still there. We still try to find out what was wrong. Why were they so great but a person like Diamond can come for three years and he owns a TV station, he's rich, I mean he's signed by Pepsi, and he's all over the places performing in big events and shows. Why is it that our industry we only can pick out that, okay, this is Eddie Kenzo who, is, who has done this. Okay, it's Reddy and Weasel who has done this. Okay, it's Bebe Cool who has done this. Why do we have only a few? Why can't we have so many, you know, shining? Shining like Wizkid, shining like Davido, shining like Patron. Nigerian has so many stars. So many stars, they come here and collect our money and they go back. And us, we just keep looking at them. Hey, we keep shouting, oh, they are the best, they are the best. How about us? So this generation should wake up and say, are we setting a legacy? like the previous generation, or we are just there for sure. And they have to take it seriously. Like this is a business, this is not a show off, a show off game. You have to be organized. Some of us, we made a lot of mistakes in our time, 
and we wish we were organized then. But thank God we are organized now. But if we had got organized before, maybe our country would be on the map. They could be on other levels. You know, so this generation really needs to wake up. Like When it comes to management, you have to have a very full management team. Diamond is not famous because he knows how to sing. There are very many people who know, one Chekecha doesn't she sing better than Diamond? But why isn't she on Diamond's level? Okay, Because him, he has an organized team that works with one hand. Teberia Rukwe. You understand? They don't cheat each other. Let me just give you some. No, they have an organized system. Kubange is business. It's a business that brings in money whereby you have to pay taxes to the country. You have to take care of your children. You have to take care of your family. You have to drive a nice car. You have to stay in a nice house. You have to fly private jets. Ugandans don't fly private jets. Other artists do that. Why? Because they are organized. So our game needs to change. And we need to start singing. We need to start singing for real. Not just here, here and there. I'm begging all the producers, start producing artists that know how to sing. Because if we have artists that know how to sing, we are going to conquer very fast. And we shall stay for a long time. Look at our brothers, the Congolese. Just our neighbors here, the Congolese. Look at them. Eh? These are guys who have been hammering us for a long time. Even though people say, well, we chase them. No, no. Them, they are, look at Kofi Olomide, how organized he is. Look at Fali Popa. Tell me one Ugandan artist who is paid 150,000 US dollars to perform. Do you tell me even just one? Olinga, Gerija Yogera, Olinga Gamati, Uganda, Tatuina legend, you know, like Tatuina. No, it is not about being a legend. That nonsense of bragging that we are singer. We are singer, so what? What do you have? What do you have? Okay. What what can you show that you've really worked so hard? What is there to show? Okay. I'm telling you this is the truth. Me, I worked so hard. Okay. But I we, we made mistakes along the way and we realized that we we're making mistakes and we decided to step out and do things the right way. Um, the mistakes, yes, one of the mistakes we did, the biggest mistakes actually, is not having a team that is on the same page. Not having a management team that, that checks itself. Okay? We were doing it just for the love of the music and the talent. But we forgot the business part of it. That's why we get into a lot of problems. We get into a lot of anger, we get into a lot of jealousy, we get into... The industry is fighting each other because everybody is trying to to scrap for that piece of cake. But if we are all organized, right from the promoters to the radio stations, to the TV stations, to the journalists, if we were organized, we would be a very powerful money-making machine because we know East or West Home is best. Okay? If we can support our own artists the same way we support these artists that we bring in here, the journalists, you promote them, you don't abuse them. You promote their music. Show how good they are. Show their good parts. Don't show their evil parts all the time. Because we are human beings, we all have mistakes. Show their good parts. Don't smear their, their, their bad parts. Okay? Show the good parts of the artists. And you will see that the industry will grow very well. There will be money in the industry. We'll be more organized. Companies will pay us the money that we ask for. But a company like MTN, AfriCell, Airtel, they cannot pay an artist one million dollars. Okay? When you, if you can, even you look at the shoe they are putting on, it's not worth the money you want to give them. The car they are driving, the people they are moving with, the way they smell, the way they look like, you know, how, how are they looking like? Do they look fresh? You understand? So you find that we need, we need, to, we need to stop pretending we are pretending to be so good. We are not good. The industry is poor. I'm telling you this. This is the truth. You find journalists, the artist has to pay a journalist, he has to pay a DJ, he has to pay a pay a tribute. It's supposed to be the other way around. But it can't be the other way around when the artist himself is not worth that. No, I will start 
I will set an example just the way I set an example before, 10 years ago. I said, no, I want young artists to come out and also make money. You don't have to be so mature to become a star. Okay? But we need to make, I want to make artists that will live for long, that will live forever. That others will come out of them in the same organized way. Artists that will be organized. You don't see them in bars, you don't see them fighting, you don't see them abusing anyone, you know. You don't see them answering questions to journalists, they have managers who answer for them questions, you know. So that is the kind of, that is the kind of system I want to set up. Like, correcting our mistakes that we did. It is not too late. As long as you're breathing, it is not too late. It doesn't matter where you are, how long you've been there. As long as you decide to start from scratch and do things the right way. So this year you'll see Peace Malone, uh, Summer Soldier. Yeah, man, you see them on your They'll be slapping your face all the time like this. Just the way we did it 10 years with Red and Weasel. And still Red and Weasel are coming back for another 10 years. How? 